The Earth's core is hotter than the surface of the Sun. But how can that be possible? It's a fact that has been puzzling scientists for decades. In this video, we'll explore the science behind this fascinating phenomenon. Before we get started, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the first to see our latest videos. To understand why the Earth's core is hotter than the Sun, we first need to understand how the temperature of the Earth's core is measured. Since we can't just stick a thermometer down there, scientists have had to rely on indirect methods. One of the most common methods is to use seismic waves, which are waves of energy that travel through the Earth's crust and mantle after an earthquake. By analyzing the way these waves travel, scientists can deduce the temperature and density of the Earth's interior. So, what have these measurements told us about the temperature of the Earth's core? According to scientists, the temperature at the Earth's core is estimated to be around 5,700 degrees Celsius, 10,300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is incredibly hot. In contrast, the temperature of the Sun's surface is around 5,500 degrees Celsius, 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This means that the Earth's core is actually hotter than the surface of the Sun. But why is the Earth's core so hot? The answer lies in the process of radioactive decay. Radioactive isotopes such as uranium and thorium are present in the Earth's mantle and core. As these isotopes decay, they release heat energy, which causes the temperature of the surrounding material to rise. This process is known as radiogenic heating. However, radiogenic heating alone isn't enough to explain why the Earth's core is hotter than the Sun. There is another factor at play, known as gravitational potential energy. As the Earth formed, it began to contract under the force of its own gravity. This contraction caused the material in the core to heat up, just like a ball of dough heats up as it is needed. As the material in the core heats up, it becomes less dense and rises towards the surface. This rising material creates convection currents, which help to transport heat from the core to the surface. This process is known as mantle convection. But why doesn't the Sun experience the same process of convection? The answer lies in the fact that the Sun is made up of mostly gas, while the Earth is solid. The gases in the Sun's interior are constantly moving and mixing, which prevents the formation of convection currents. In addition, the Sun's strong magnetic field suppresses the formation of convection currents. In contrast, the Earth's solid interior allows for the formation of convection currents, which help to transport heat from the core to the surface. This is why the Earth's core is hotter than the Sun. But the Earth's core isn't just hot, it's also under incredible pressure. The pressure at the Earth's core is estimated to be around 3.6 million atmospheres, which is equivalent to the weight of 3.6 million Earths pressing down on a single point. This immense pressure causes the atoms in the core to be squeezed together, which makes them more likely to collide and release energy in the form of heat. In conclusion, the Earth's core is hotter than the Sun due to a combination of radiogenic heating and gravitational potential energy. The solid nature of the Earth allows for the formation of convection currents, which help to transport heat from the core to the surface. This incredible phenomenon not only tells us about the nature of our planet but also provides important clues about the formation and evolution of the solar system. That's it, we've reached the end of the video. If you made it this far, you're one of the best people out there. Before you go, make sure to give us a like to let us know you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions that pop into your head in the middle of the night, feel free to leave them in the comments below so we can answer them for you.